take a double decker tour to see the Havana city. So come with us. <laughs> It's an amazing place. Um, it's so incredible. I really love the buildings. I mean, so marvelous. As a Cuban, people are very great. Malecon. Malecon is probably the most famous uh, street uh, that uh, shows the ocean in the whole country, but Malecon. Uh, I think Miami just uh, 60 years back, uh, where you have the building, beautiful buildings, and then the ocean. Of course, these buildings are run down and old and not repaired, uh -huh. but this is a beautiful place. In the very back, you see El Morro, which is the castle or the, or the fort that they used to protect the city with. So this is a very beautiful and famous place in Havana. Estoy aquí en Cuba ya camino de cuatro años, estudio aquí teología, estoy terminando. Gosto estar aquí en Cuba, es un país seguro, tranquilo. Y el pessoal de aquí son un pessoal amoroso. Y gosto de estar aquí con él, estoy a trabajar aquí. Para mí ha sido una experiencia muy linda. Y amo este país, más que cualquier cosa, amo este país. Cuando triunfa la revolución. Fidel recebe toda a propriedade. Já não existe nada privado no mundo do Estado. E mandou todos os estrangeiros abandonar o país. E então, quando recebem isso, tudo isso dos Estados Unidos, se vão, então, toma o lugar disso aqui. A construção, a estrada. Vou te amo. I'm a broken Portuguese. <laughs> recibir al grupo Andrus. Agradecemos a Dios porque desde el mes de noviembre el pastor Ortiz con, contactó con nosotros y vimos una posibilidad hermosa de en este mes de marzo poder contar con este tremendo grupo que, que está haciendo la diferencia. Eh, están ocurriendo milagros esta semana. Estamos viendo iglesias llenas, estamos viendo la fe renovada y sobre todo muchas almas que están viniendo de regreso eh, buscando esperanza en Jesús. Esta misma noche hemos estado en movimiento, hemos visto 70, 80 visitas eh, y hambrientas de la palabra. Así que está ocurriendo algo extraordinario y agradecemos a Dios por la manera en que Dios está dirigiendo este evangelismo. Esperanza en medio del caos.
Ei, meu irmão, preste atenção. Se você não acredita em Jesus, você é um cabeção. Hey, back on the mic and the one and two and two and two and three and then the four and the four and the five and the six. Hey, Cuba, Havana. My boy son undercover Dominican, but his blood's Brazilian. Tertullian. The same rise, I give it back to my boy, he's got the rise, I said. <laughs> What's up, good people? We just finished going on a tour of Cuba. The sights were amazing, but we know that this is just a tour. There are people out here who don't have money, who can't even afford toilet paper. And so that's why we're here, to make a small impact. And we pray that when we leave, we know that Christ will still be here. Peace. has been nice has been good by his grace you know what happened even today the immigration want us to move but by god's grace we pray over it and they just say oh leave them alone so god has been doing wonderful things for us and like what we did yesterday shaving the homeless give them clothes and they've been coming to church and you see the joy and the happiness in them May God name be glorified. Gracias. <laughs>